Hey guys, welcome back to my week of tags. This is my video for Wednesday and today I'm taking on a stay at home book tag. Okay, this was created by Princess of Paperback and I'll have her channel linked in the description below. Also, if you can hear crinkling in the background, my dog is sitting on the couch with like a crinkle toy and it's the only thing that's keeping her calm. So it's crinkles or barking. The first prompt is laying in bed, a book that you have or could read in a single day. So for this, the first one that came to mind was the Princess Diary series, basically any book from there. I don't think I could read the last book in a single day because it is like 450 pages long, but the rest of the books in this series are like 200 to 300 pages. And actually I read like two of them in a day sometimes. Uh, even starting maybe a third one. They're really short and fun and easy to like devour. Plus they're really, really fun stories. Number two, Snacking, a guilty pleasure book. So for this one, I had to pick The Selection by Kiera Cass. I love this series. I've read it like three times. I think it's in the process of being adapted to Netflix, so you might have heard about it. But yeah, I could read this book all the time. Even though I can recognize that it's not really the best book out there, I just love it. I've read it multiple times and I would read it again. The next prompt is Netflix, a series that you want to start. For this one, I had to pick the His Majesty's Dragon series by Naomi Novik. At least I think that's the name of the series. That might be the name of the first book. Naomi Novik is an author that I actually haven't read anything by, but I really want to read a lot of her work. Several of her books are on my TBR, and I hope to get to them eventually. I think I have His Majesty's Dragon and Uprooted both on my Kindle. I remember my mom and my cousin talking about these books when I was in middle school, I think, and I've kind of wanted to read them ever since, well, the Majesty's Dragon books. I've kind of wanted to read them ever since and just not quite gotten around to it. Will I get around to them soon? I don't know. Next we have Deep Clean, a book that's been on your TBR for ages. And for this one, I had to pick The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I rewatch it when I'm sad. I try to get everyone in my life to watch it, but I've never read the book. I bought it with Christmas money before my husband and I even got married, and I think I read the first chapter or two, but I didn't quite get into it at the time. It's a little bit intimidating because the mass market paperback is kind of thick. <laughs> That's one of like the bigger mass market paperbacks that I own, but I'm going to get to it eventually. Next we have Animal Crossing, a book you recently bought because of the hype. I actually don't buy a lot of books unless they're nonfiction, and not a lot, lot of nonfiction tends to be hyped. So I think the most recent one is probably when I bought A Darker Shade of Magic three years ago, at least for the physical book. If we're talking Kindle books, last night I bought Library of the Unwritten. This isn't the most hyped book on BookTube, but I have heard several people talking about it and it's gotten some really positive feedback. So it was like $3 on Kindle and I got it. Next we have Productivity, a book you learned from or that had good impact on you. For this one, I picked Come As You Are by Emily Nagoski. This book deals with a topic that I'm just gonna let you look into, but I liked it a lot and I learned a lot from it. It's probably one of my most referenced nonfiction books. Are you eating plastic again? Don't do it. Next we have FaceTime, which is a book you were gifted. For this one, I picked the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because my husband gave this to me for Christmas a few years ago. Next, we have self-care, which is one thing you're doing to take care of yourself recently. So I don't have them to show to you because my husband's wearing them right now while he's working from home. But the other day I got blue light glasses and they came in the mail and I've been wearing them almost nonstop. Right now I spend a lot of time on my laptop and my phone because of my job and also because of watching YouTube and I have noticed a huge difference in the eye strain that I experience. Last night I actually wore them while I was reading my Kindle with the light on, and usually when there's a lot of blue light right before bed, I wake up with feeling like my eyes hurt a little bit, and this morning I did not have any strain in my eyes whatsoever. Bonus, name a book coming out soon. I'll tell you one that I'm extremely excited for, and that is Charlotte by Helen Moffat. This is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice from the point of view of Charlotte Lucas. If I remember correctly, it actually extends beyond the scope of the storyline in Pride and Prejudice, but I'm really excited for this one. I think it comes out in May. All right, so that's the end of my stay at home book tag. Until next time, I hope that you're having a wonderful day and taking care of yourself and people around you.